Simply Don, the podcast network. Hello? Uh, you know what sucks? I gotta go back down the hill and take a dump. What's going on, Scare Master? No, I just. Take a shit. What, what happened, buddy? I gotta take a shit. Buddy, I really. I listen, I, what's going on over there? Hold on a second. Da- Dan a needs shit. to talk what's to you, man. What's going on? Harry. Harry. I gotta take a shit. Not here, you're not. Where are you going to take a shit? Right down the hill at the IHOP. Oh, but Mole had a surprise for you. Oh man! Like what? You want to tell him the surprise? I was gonna, I was gonna make. A, you, you know how like you like to drink a hot cup of coffee? What? You know how when you got to go to the bathroom, it's fun to drink a hot cup of coffee? No. All right, forget it. All right, it was some weed. Mole brought weed and Fritos. Do you want any of the what? Fritos? Do you want any? Oh, of you can have the hot cup of coffee I don't too. Want either, you fucking moron! You don't want the Fritos? You guys are idiots. Can I eat the Fritos? I'm not you know how I feel about weed. Not that kind of weed. These are dandelion greens. All right, go to the bathroom. See you in a minute. Let me ask you a question, Dan and Vince and Mary Jane. Why do you think Scaremaster has to show, start every show in a public uh, public restaurant men's room? That's a great question. That's a great question. Do you think fan? Do you think he does it because that's where he's gonna? He thinks he's gonna meet some of the fans. Oh. Another great question. I have absolutely no idea what makes Perry tick. He's got ticks. Did I say tick? He I should have tick. ticks after all those public men's rooms. Anytime that people are out, you know, fans are out and they want to meet Perry, you know, if you can find a, me- a public men's room in L.A., chances they are he's going to be in it Well, at some point. In the I, w- I would guess the one by his house, the Denny's by his house. His there. favorite. That's Is like it? going at home. That's when people want to go at home. Right. You think in the morning he heads in there with his bathrobe and a paper tucked under his arm? That would be interesting to find out. You should ask him when he gets on the show. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you been, man? I'm all right. Looking good. Thank you. How's You're your sound? sounding better. Uh, what's that? You're sounding better. Yeah, I was really sick for a while. More respectful. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, you're sounding and acting... Or gentlemanly like. I'm always acting gentlemanly like and respectful. Sometimes you're just in a bad mood. Yeah, that's okay. true. You've been in a bad mood before. Okay, maybe you're right. Um, Scaremaster, let me ask you a question. How come when uh, we, we're going to start the show, like, you got to go to the public men's room all the time? I got to take a dump, fool. I just had done, just got done eating dinner. When let did me- you eat dinner? What time? I, right when I got over the hill, what, I got here... What'd you eat tonight? I uh, stopped at Del Pollo Loco and had a, a BRC. What's and that, that just went right through you? Yeah? It went right through. Huh. Beans, rice, and uh, cheese? I guess that's what it's called. No meat? No oh, no protein? Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's meat in the... What kind of meat? Chicken. Is that the C? Beans, yeah. Beans, rice, and chicken? Oh, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, beans, rice, and chicken. It could also be like uh, beets, radicchio, and couscous. Is there going to be a show? Uh, yeah. yeah. As soon as we, this song starts right here. Coming to you pre-recorded from Simply Down the Podcast Network Studios at a secret location in West Hollywood, California. It's the Big Three Podcast. Hey, everybody. It's your old pal, Don Barris. I'm Mole. And I'm, of course, the Scare Master, Scary Perry. Yeah, my best friend. And what a show what? we have today. What I'm a not your best friend. What a great show we have today. Really? There are a couple things that we need to go over. We got a little note, you know, and these notes are always going to come in. I don't think anybody needs to worry. What kind of note is like a uh, F sharp? <laughs> okay, that's your great improv ability. But no, no, we got a note from the bosses upstairs. And they say that uh, they hated your movie time last week. Uh, what? Do you want to talk about Windy City? Heat? Yeah, they said it was terrible. But they wanted you this week to do something you used to do. This is where you can talk about anything you want. 60 Seconds of Perry. Go! The only guy upstairs is the guy sitting to my left. Jesus? <clears throat> what? Jesus? Jesus is not to my You're left. You're into your 60 seconds. You should go a little All further. All right. And uh, since I'm going to talk about my 60 seconds, I got uh, some tracks in front go of me. Go for from, it, dude. From the uh, Watchtower Bible and Track Society in uh, Brooklyn, New York. Oh, is these songs? They got some new songs? Bible tracks. They're in my hands. 
What is that is? like Bible stuff to music, like tracks not, on CD? Not, not this music. is Javaho shit. Je- Jehovah's Witness stuff. Hey, let me ask you something. Your big Javaho jamboree is coming like next month, isn't it's it? It's called a summer assembly. Okay, I didn't know the exact name, but there you go. It's just you know, stop calling it Javaho when it's Jehovah's Witness. Okay, continue on. The good news from God track. Listen to God track. Stop. That was 60 Seconds with Perry. Hey, so what's been going on, guys? Pop culture and personal lives. Dan, go. Well, pop culture, I guess uh, the new Robin Thicke CD is coming out, and everyone's anticipating that. Will it be as good as his last album? Will they have a hit like he did with Blurred Lines? Uh, Personal life, I'm thinking about a very special weekend. Uh... Well, I'm going to Las Vegas for a All couple right. days. All right. You're going to Las Vegas when? A couple of days, in August, mid-August. Oh, okay. It's the first break I've had in quite this a while. Is, we're going to have a blast, you guys. This We are going to have fun, fun, fun. Wait, you wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Here's whoa. what we can do. Whoa, uh, whoa, We go to whoa. the place where they have the $2 steaks. We each bring 10 bucks, five steaks each. Whoa. Are, 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 Steak eating contest. Excuse me. That's the first I'm morning. Not, All right, I'm well, not. You not. could win the steak eating contest. Give I'm yourself a little it. credit. Are we then going the to afternoon. Vegas? No, I, I, are I, you going I, I to think Vegas? Mo is jumping out of the gun a little bit. Yeah, quick. Mo thinks that you're, he's invited and like, the three of us We're going to pull a Burt Lancaster. We're going to swim not. across the whole town. We're going to go all the way back to our place. But along the way, we're going to find out that First I'll off, tell you what, Mo, this glamorous life ain't Mo, all it's out to be. What? Well, he didn't invite us to Las Vegas. He said he's going to Las Vegas. He's probably inviting Mary Jane with him to Las it's Vegas. It's none of your business who I'm well, inviting. Well, what if he didn't invite Mary Jane? She's sitting right here, and isn't that going to make her feel bad? If he didn't invite Mary Jane, that's... that's let's just keep it quiet. Let's just keep it quiet. Let's just keep it quiet, okay? Enough. Enough. Oh, brother. You know what we should do to get some things out of the way? We're coming towards a home stretch of no... What are you handing me stuff tra- for? Okay. What like What are it. you handing me? The tracks. Can I see them? The tracks. Listen to God I got you. and live forever. Oh, it's a cartoon book. <gasps> oh, cause, oh, I see it because it's like, it's like a kind of juvenile religion. You got to kind of... You got to spruce for, it up for, for the... Like, young ones. Yeah. Not the young ones. These look like old people on here. Well, good news from God. Hey, can I ask you something about the Javo religion? And Jehovah's this is something wit- that... Uh, Where's the Jehovah's sports witness. section? I recently read something about them, and they were talking about how the lower level... Again, I know this isn't directly from the Bible. This I'm paraphrasing. But they say that the lower lo- level Javahos, known as the Javanos, they're not allowed to bother people and go door to door preaching the line of Javo bullshit. Now, is that true? There are I'm, people- not, <laughs> I'm not Look talking to you because... God's view is smoking. <laughs> what do they have? Do they have a dog smoking? I love the little dog that you put the things in its mouth and it just pop, 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 pop. Oh, that's funny stuff. So yeah. is that true that some people can't go door to door? No. You can go door to door right now? Yes, I could. You can? Have you asked one of your elders? I've... Talked, I talked to my study conductor about it. And what do they say? And uh, we're, we're in the process. Of getting you, see, you getting your door ready? Now, what do they say? Because from what I understand, these are the people that they, the Java knows, as they're called, the lower oh, level God. Java hoes that aren't allowed to do but, anything. No, they're not Java knows. Because, just, because they're an embarrassment no such, no, to the other You're the embarrassing elder Javanos. because you're, you're, you're so sacrilegious. I'm not be, I asked you if this was true. It's not true. Okay, that's all you had to do. It just seemed like because the way you're the way you're talking about my religion is so okay. Well, you know what? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. In a way, when you think about it, I'm not yelling at you. I'm not making a joke. I'm not yelling at you. There's no laugh track here. I'm asking a question about your religion because I'd like to know. And I did. Well, why do you say Javaho when it's Jehovah's Witness? That's just kind of. I think that's the word we learned. So that's what we're comfortable with. You're you're Scare Master, twisting it. You know, okay, let me ask you this. You're twisting oh, you it. You let him when listen you say, to him. When you say I could care less, right? You say that all the time, right? Well, I'm not saying that right now. But, no, but you, you have but you said that. Say, I've heard I say you that say. a lot. Now, isn't the expression "I couldn't care less"? Exactly, because that's proper English. Mole. But so people, but people say it because things change, language evolves, so okay. people start learning something a different way. Like that's uh, why I keep bringing him tracks. Like puddin'tain, puddin'tain. 
Right. What? Pudding tang. We know it as Javaho. Ja- you know okay. it as Javaho. But because now the Javano is the lesser of the Javaho. Yeah, There's no learn. such thing. Dear Master. You're it's, saying there, it's would, Let me just ask you a question, please. I'm worried for you because when I heard about the Javanos, I didn't even know that. Now, are they saying you can't go door to door? Because if you're a Javano, they're never going to let There's you be no a Javaho. There's no such thing. You know how they That's call a- Catholics? Ca- you know how Catholics are actually pronounced Catholics? I didn't know that, but go on. It's Catholic. Whatever. That's what you call it. That's not what I call it. What do you call it? The Catholics. And what about Muslims? Muslims are Muslims. And what about the other ones? I don't care about any of relig- other religions. Well, he did straighten one thing out, and I'm just, as I said, I came from a place that you're pouring a lot of time into this little hobby of yours, being the Javaho. Jehovah's I, Witness. Right, again, Mole expressed it to you. I'm not trying to disrespect you. It's just the way that I learned to say it. And Cultural the, upbringing. Thank you. And the way that I'm looking at it, I just don't want you to be hurt. You put all this I'm time. I'm bringing you magazines, and right. I keep doing it's it. Very to you. nice, right? Dude. Hey, can I ask you a question, Scaremaster? Have you gone up? To, have you done that before? Gone up yeah, to houses? When I, yes, when I was younger. How old were you? God, uh, six to ten. Yeah, uh, at six years old, you would go up to doors, huh? Yeah. And who um, would take who would take you up there? Your mom and stuff. Yeah, I'd go out with my mom. Were you adorable? I bet he was actually very adorable. At six years old, he'd go up there with his little uh, short shorts and was, his tank top. And go yeah, short mouth. shorts in a windy city called Chicago when it's like... <coughs> oh, you were doing Chicago. Outside. It's okay. not always that cold. So would you go out in the cold winter and you'd like knock on the door? And Who would go out? You, Just you and your mom or was it other people? Well, other people. Did you Brian know? go? Your That's brother? When, when he was involved, yeah. Did he teach you a lot about it? Brian, I don't even want to talk about that. Do you ever lie time, in bed at home and wonder, what's Brian doing right now? I miss him? <laughs> no, I No matter no what, res- he's your brother. You may have had an argument with him, but you do miss argument, him. Argument? Miss him? I don't miss him. You know what we should do? The guy that stole, How's this sound the guy for that an stole idea? my mother's okay. real funds? How's this sound for an idea? All right, you said that. What's Be- your oldest brother's name? Kenny. What's up with Kenny. He lives in Arizona. Why? You know, you guys, should, you guys get along though. Sometimes we should call Brian right now and try to work this out with. No, Barry. I, I think that's between bro- that's brothers. That's a brother. That's a thing. private matter. Would you do it though? If we no, did, you don't think that help? No. If the entire big three called him, no. Scare master. Another another religious question because I really appreciate you explaining some stuff to us. I didn't know that you were a, a missionary at six years old, which is. Clearly, you have a long history with this religion. Yeah. I've, it's been a big part of your life for a long time. It's been a part of my life, my entire life. Right. I mean, I, I, most yeah. Italians, they don't go in for that sort of thing. They're Roman Catholic. They have right. been I bathed in the blood of the Lamb. I wouldn't say most because it's they, actually... What's that? It's actually the largest growing religion in, in Italy. Right. But you know, compared, to the Roman Ca- but compared to the Roman Catholic Church, it's you know it's nothing. It's just gar- right. it's a garbage religion compared to that. That's what's been said. You know, that's what they... I'll tell you this, in my church, I go to a Catholic church, that's what they call the Javos, garbage people. I didn't know about the Javanos, though, and I'm worried about that because I don't want them to take advantage Excuse of you. Excuse me. If, are Excuse you, me. Are you going to, they're not going to ever you, let you be a Javo. Why are you saying a sacrilegious name? And, I'm not and, saying that. I'm saying and, the Javaho bagpipe it's ceremony not is Javaho. not coming for you. All right, I'm well, you know what? You I, I got to do this. It's time once again for a little thing we like to call our Mole ten. Oh. No, no, our ten dollars shout out. Ten dollars shout out. Now, if you've never heard the podcast before, the ten dollars shout out is where you, the listener at home, can be part of the fun here. You can send a very short letter, maybe a paragraph at the most. Excuse send me. Send your ideas. Open up your shirt. What's that? No, let me just finish what I'm saying. What? You got my address on it. Damn, yeah. what really? Why? Do you have? Why are you wearing my my street address? Because some your, people sent it to us last week. They sent it ten dollars shout outs last week. Right, you didn't take the shirt they sent you, the oh one that God. you looked at it and it said V I H. You don't remember that? The, no. And then he said, "Oh, if I look in the mirror, it says I remember V I H because backwards it was H I V." Right. Scare master. Listen, I didn't mean to anything disrespectful to the Catholic. I don't think the Roman anybody Catholic did. Church. Because the Pope, cool dude, you got to admit. Whatever. Hey, 
Mole, can we who's hold that j- for a second, though? Because we're in the, right in the middle of the $10 shout-out. Now, if you've never heard at home, this is where you can join in the fun here, as I was trying to say before, before Perry interrupted me on the T-shirt style that I was wearing. It's a fan that gave it to me. Anyway, so if you want to send $10, you can write a short little thing, say what's on your mind, and send it to $10 shout-out. Care of Don Bear, 7510 Sunset Boulevard, number 153, Hollywood, California, 900 Four six. Well, let's see what we got. A few of them today. All right. You know why the the Catholics don't like the Java hose? Why is that? Is because they always drinking out of the holy water bowls. Well, if they do do that, that is not right. You get the paws up there. Whatever. They lean up on the paws up there, and they. Greetings, Big Three. Did you know that HIV and other viruses are responsible for millions of deaths each year? Did you know the best defense against becoming infected is frequent hand washing? But hand sanitizers sold in stores are made of toxic chemicals and can cause cancer. People should be able to live their lives free from the fear of catching HIV or cancer. That's why I'm pleased to announce that this latest invention from the laboratories of Spooky Sammy Enterprises, which have been named Spooky Sammy, Perry's Organic Hand Sanitizer. Perry's Organic Hand Sanitizer is the perfect solution to avoid any germs while on the go. Our convenient size makes it ideal to carry in your fanny pack or purse. We would love to hire Mr. Caravello as our, uh, yeah, they did say Caravello, as our official product spokesman. All we need to do to move forward with the production is Mr. Caravello to approve the product. Perry, do you love it? If you do, then let's do some business together. Best regards, Spooky Sammy. Here, why don't you try this? It does say Perry's Organic Hand Sanitizer. Yeah, well, why don't you try it? Well, while I'm in a... Uh... Scaremaster. Scaremaster. What? Look, he's got the sign up. Thank you. All right, wait. What's it smell like? It's fucking glue. I'm not trying it. Give me, give me a... Uh, um... Give me a... Uh, All right. While I do that, why don't you yeah. read this it's next letter? It's fucking glue. Okay. Read this next letter. Son of a bitch. Piece of shit. Here we go. Dear the bestest podcast. I remember Perry acting cute and silly one day by joking with Nick about June 26, 1992, saying, if it was a person, it would be legal to drink by now. That was pretty funny. My thoughts are June 26, 1992 was so long ago that it, if it was a person, they are too, they too are old enough. They could have BJ'd a casting director and received three useless SAG vouchers and start an all man Barado commercial. Welcome back, big three. Did you know if you played the sounds backwards Perry was making with his bum hole during the Essing scene in Windy City Heat, you can clearly hear a voice saying, Perry Caravelli. Fills his b-hole with D-word. Just another reason why Whitney City Heat is the greatest movie ever. Signed with love, JP. Thank Thanks, you, JP. JP. Absolutely. Here's another one. Dear Big Three, we're all sad that the show was not on for several months, but it did give us a chance to listen to the older shows in the archives. What really stood out was Perry's rendition of ACD's Back in Black. Yeah, I agree. Perry does sing the hell out of that song. On occasion, sometime. The renditions are so good, in fact, mm-hmm. we think that Perry was lip syncing and the real version was done by ACDC each and every time. Perry, that's not true, is it? No. No, you were singing. Of course. Did the Scaremaster think that nobody would notice how close Scaremaster. it was to the original recordings? In order for the Scaremaster to prove that he's not the no talent Millie Vanilli, uh, we need him to hear him sing the song one more time. So that the audio specialist analyst that we have in our home studio can figure this out on their own. That way we can rule out any suspicion of audio graphing. Your pals Chip Stevens and Bucky McIntosh. Well, not tonight. I would say normally, go fuck yourself. He's not singing. But you know what? I want them to see that you can sing. Just give me a little. little. Taste. Just a little taste. Just a little. Let's see if I can. Oh. Ah! Ah! I think he proved himself. I think he proved himself. 
Good job, Scare Master. Okay, here's another one for you, Mole. Hey, Perry, it's Billy Lee again. I'm the kid you inspired to do sex with older men for money with your Randy C story. Oh, I remember this kid. He was adorable. I'm nine and a half years old now, and my life as a prostitute has really taken off. I got picked up by these oh, th- these three cool guys called child traffickers. They take kids away from their lame families and move them to a country that doesn't have a bunch of stupid laws. Once you're there, you get to do sex with old men for money as much as you want. I'm living in Thailand now. And not only is my prostitution business booming, but I'm one of the oh, biggest uh, child porn stars on the internet. Congratulations. Did you hear the U.S. government is trying to shut down underage porn sites? That's bull hockey. <laughs> if I want to get naked on camera and do BJs and B-sex, that's my business. They have no right to take away my livelihood like that. Thank goodness there are celebrities like Scary Perry that support child pornography. I don't if you're ever in Thailand, look wrong. me up. I'll give you a tour of the studio and show you all the cool Pokemon cards I bought with my sex money. Billy Lee. Wrong. Everybody check out my latest video, Billy Lee's Pure Anal Compilation Volume 3, only available on Dark Web. Oh, oh that's sweet. Good luck, Billy. Sick. Why is that sick? You motivated a kid to go out and get a job, and now he's living a happy life. Living the dream. Oh, whatever. All right. Oh, look at this. Money, money, money. That is money, money, money. Dear Big Three, I'm a big fan of the podcast, and I loved Windy City Heat. I've been a longtime listener and first-time shout-outer. I've listened to every podcast, and I've heard the $10 shout-outs, where Perry never seems to do quite well when someone sends a little trivia quiz that money is involved for correct answers. Well, I'm sending a little trivia quiz, and the scales will be tilted to Perry's side this time because they're all subjects that I know Perry knows everything about. So I've got five questions and $500. I like Don to read these, and I'd like to have Perry and Mole try to figure out the answers. $100 for each correct answer. Seems simple enough. Good luck, and I'm pulling for you, Scare Master. Gary Player, member of the Golf Hall of Fame. Gary Player? Okay, let's do this. What are the odds of that? All right. You ready to do this? Go right ahead. All right. First one. Oh, this one I think you're going to know. Okay. Okay. What are we doing? We're doing a trivia quiz. Now, for each uh, correct answer, it's $100. Oh. <laughs> I've got $500 here. You ready, Perry? I'm waiting. What is the one-time ACDC lead singer's... Bon Bon, Scott. Bon Scott's real first name. Oh, Ronald Bon Scott. Ronald Bon Scott. Ronald Bon Scott. He said it first, though. Okay. Okay, here's $100 for you. Oh, thanks, bud. Okay, question two. In skateboard lingo, what's... Oh, this is for Scare Match who's going to get this. Go on. It's not fair. Don't give up. Well, but you're doing skateboard stuff. You're doing ACDC AC, DC stuff. stuff. But you got the first one. You could get this one. Okay. In skateboard lingo, <sighs> what is a skateboard beginner called? A noob or newbie. <laughs> what? A newbie. You call right a skateboard there. beginner, right? Right there. Is that That's what it is? What is right right there? Uh, I noob never... or newbie. I never knew that. All right. Well, here's what we'll, well, that's what he's claiming. Whatever, I'll look it up on Wikipedia. Oh, look at this. This guy comes from a, a different time because he calls them Jehovah Witnesses. Where uh, a question about that, about his religion? Go on. Where and when was the origin of the Jehovah Witnesses? Where and when? What do you mean? Brooklyn, New York? No, I think it was Pittsburgh in the 1870s. That's exactly right. Pits- okay, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh is one. I mean, one. they opened, they saw the Watchtower in Brooklyn. Okay, but there you go. Right, there Pittsburgh is one. another hundred dollars. Scare match. I can't believe I know more about your religion than you do. Well, Pittsburgh was the second answer. Wait a minute. Where are you from originally? Chicago. Oh, this is a Chicago Bears question. Oh, come on. With the third and fourth picks of the 1965 draft, who were the two future Hall of Famers that the Chicago Bears selected? Brian Piccolo and Gail Sears. I'm going to say, oh, God, scare me. I'm going to say Gail Sayers and Dick Butkus. Gail Sayers and Dick Butkus was right. Oh, okay. yes. Actually, Dick Butkus and Gail Sayers. Right, because that's it the went order three and four, and four, right? All right. Oh, look at this one. Wait, what was up with Gail Sayers? He was the one who was all like, oh, my bunny died. Remember Scare Master? Scare Master. I love you, Brian Piccolo. What happened? Was that like they loved each other? They were friends. Yeah, but I mean, why is he crying about him all the because time? Because the guy had cancer and was dying. Since when? It's a good question. Oh, Who died? 
Brian Piccolo died. Do you cry? Did you All right, cry? let's let's finish hey, this. Let quiz. me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What? Who's the great Chicago Bear player who also is loaded with uh, with vitamins and roughage? What? Kale Sayers. Kale Sayers. <laughs> Kale Sayers. It's a Kale. joke. Kale, because because see, Kale's good Whatever. for the roughage. I and, know. Uh, yeah. I know. All right, here's the final question. Question five. Still a hundred dollars left. The Costco wholesale. Oh, this is oh. Scaremaster's place. Go on. Let him win. Is headquartered in what American city? I don't know where the headquarters is. Of Costco? Yes. Oh, that's in Issaquah. Issaquah, what state? Washington. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Is that where it is? Yeah. I've yeah, been I've been to that the headquarters well, there. I've never, I've never heard of that? I woke I didn't up there one morning in the back parking lot. Well, let's do this. Here, read another uh, $10 shout-out. Are we still we're... playing the game? No, the game's over. You won all the over, money. You hey, got Mole, money. can I, I ask you a question? $500? Do you remember a few years ago when we bet on the Super Bowl? Nope. You lost like $1,000 to me and you never paid me? I didn't? No, you never paid me. And I thought, oh my God, what I'm a piece so of sh- shit. Can, can and I give I... you this? Can I, that be a start? Oh, that's half. Yeah, I'll, do, I'll take this. All right, I'm, here's another. I'm totally broke, so I don't have any other cash. Well, that's you pay your bets. Pay your bets off. That's the way to do it. Salston Burger with Cream Bomb once told me that. Okay, go ahead. Read this next one. Dear Mole, ha. Huh? <laughs> that's, that's me. My girlfriend Amelia's birthday is coming up. I don't want to buy her a present. I have a lot of gift ideas, and I can't decide what to buy. This brings me to my question. Mole, what's in Perry's fanny pack from your number one Australian fan? Hold on. Let me find out for a second. Hold on. Uh, oh, wait there. Right down. What? What business up. is it of yours? I, not my business. It's Amelia's birthday. What business is it of his? It's Amelia's birthday. I don't give a fuck. Decoy bag. Decoy bag, Scare Master? Decoy bag. Oh, you got me the decoy bag. <laughs> Let me hold on to the decoy bag. Let, decoy bag. Let him hold on to the decoy Fucking bag. Hey, leave me alone. There's nothing in there. It's just the decoy enough, bag. There's enough. Oh, there's still stuff in here. Come on. God damn. What? Fucking get My the fuck. My arm's caught in it. Get your fucking Come hands. Come on. So don't, decoy do your... bag or not. Get your fucking hands off. Come on. Stop bag. acting like you're going to kick him. Mole, please sit down. You Go know what? To your seat. You're gonna, they're going to have to figure out a president on their own for his girlfriend. Come on. Go back to your seat. Give him five so he can move on. Can I break your thumb instead? If you do, it would be really mean. How about a handshake? There you go. That's all he Sit wanted. Down. See, now, that, what kind of gentlemanly stuff is that? I'm sorry, Amelia. It was a decoy bag. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, for sure. All right, here's our last $10 shout out. Dear Big Three, for the people who don't know who I am and what my background is, I've been considered one of the top computer hackers in the country for the last 10 years. Oh, boy. You ain't Greg the third. Well, I can't tell you right now. I can't. I'd have to go to the last part to see. I became interested in the Big Three while watching Windy City Heat and listening to the Big Three podcast and seeing what a rotten person that Javaho Gypsy was. Maybe Jad, Maybe Chad Sinner. Chad Sinner or okay, You know, that'd be a game to play. Who Who's actually writing the letter? Yeah. I'll continue on. I haven't been touched for a while because I wanted to just pull back and watch how this jerk will play things out. But I feel I can't hold it in anymore, and I need to bring something up. A while back, Don got in touch with me and asked if I would find out who hacked into Perry's social media and email. For me, it was a simple job that I normally charge close to $1,000 to do. But for Don, I did this job for free. Now, I knew that as far as getting thanks, I knew that Don would be there, and he was. He sent me two Tommy Bahama shirts as a thanks. But I couldn't believe that Perry didn't thank me in any way. No Tommy Bahama shirts, not even a mention on the podcast. I now understand why Javos never give gifts, because the Javos have less class than any other creature on Earth. Did it hurt? Yes. Did it surprise me? No. Did it make me feel that I should never contact the show again? Yes. That it did. But I changed when I was doing a routine monitoring of Tom Brennan's phone calls. What? It seems as if this Dago Javaho Gypsy piece of dog worshipping shit called Tom and talked to him about Mary Jane. What? Who, in my eyes, is the closest thing I've seen on earth to an angel. Perry mentioned to Tom that Mary Jane claimed 
that he had raped her after trying to hug her in the elevator at the secret location in West Hollywood, California. Well, he was, let me, I want to hear the rest of this. He words to describe her as cunt and whore. What? What? He went on to say to Tom that he was going to fucking kill Don Barris. What? I know the scum master will deny everything. So if you need proof, I sent you the tapes of this call that he made to Tom. I got to change my number again? Who the fuck is this guy? Let me read I on. I think the bigger question and is. And he said uh, a routine monitoring of Tom Brennan's phone calls. Oh, man. It has always seemed to this impartial listener that Mole and Don are too nice to Perry. If it was up to me, I would never try to get help him get out of the system. He's my best friend. I can't remember doing anything nice to either one of you guys ever. Oh, I'm trying to remember if he's ever denied being gay, too. I'm your not lo- gay. Your loyal fan, friend, and maybe coming back to work with you, Huey Craig the Third, so. former editor in chief of Perry Leaks. So now he's he's uh, bugging my phone and Tom's phone. Mm. Well, I think the bigger question is: Did you say all those things? I didn't look. You didn't. I, I might have. Things. I might have been mad about something that but happened. You would here, never say something. But I have like nothing that. negative you to say never. about Mary Jane. Or nothing. Jane. She's a good. She's a good person. And am I a good person? There's so you, times that you and I fight, and I you would bitch never about... say that you were going to kill me. By the way, I had. I might I have. I don't know if I said this, but I believe I set up a uh, something for you. I believe it's going to be on the twenty third. Thank you, and a I look meeting, forward to that. A meeting with the system, but now I'd like to hear these phone calls that you are making to Tom. Could you play that so we could hear that, please? Mary Jane made the comment to me. She says, uh, "I don't want any shenanigans." Between now and uh, the full hearing date, you know, I don't start any trouble or I don't do anything to fuck this all up. I said, me? What am I going to do? Well, you know what you'll do. And then, and then she tells Don that I, that I raped her in the fucking elevator. Oh, I asked for a fucking hug. The kind of sadistic and evil, just like he is. She's just an evil as he is. Oh, hi! Hi, Mary Jane! Yeah, all right. I'm a whore! That's what you really are. That's a little, uh, that's a little harsh. <laughs> well, the way they treated us, you call that harsh? Give me a fucking break, would you? I know, I, I just don't, you know, I... Give me a break, dude. That's his whole intention. To make us look like fucking jerks. My, my thought was that the motherfucker was going to rape you or rape me or, or something like that. Uh, which was this bullshit or he was going to make you lick my ass? With, with the fucking comments that he made? It's not gonna fucking happen, and if it does, he will be and he will be killed. That is a positive. He will get killed. If I don't have somebody do it, I will personally do it. If he makes you lick my ass, he will get killed. He will be murdered. That is positive. That is most definitely a positive. Okay? I'm telling you that right now. Right the fuck now. I don't own a gun. I never have owned a gun. I will murder him with a baseball bat and a knife. Okay? That's how I'll do it. I will kill him. That is my positive on that remark. I will go ballistic to the point to where I will fucking find him. I will murder him. I will destroy him. He will be killed. Okay? As weak as I am, he will be murdered if he does anything to the negative, to that dis- to that disrespectful uh, status. If he tries to make you do anything in a homosexual manner towards to me or towards me. Okay, but we're not murdering anybody. Uh, I didn't say we. Okay, I we, said I. Okay, you're not murdering anybody either. 
it, it's not going to come down to that, Perry. You know, I don't know why you have to go to violence, but it, 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 these things are not. I don't have to go to violence. But the only reason why I will go to violence is if he forces something onto you and me like that. I mean, because that's the fucking disgusting, childish way he is. He's a forceful, despicable, disgusting fuck. He never gives up. The only way he'll give up is when he's dead. Ten dollar shout out. Wow. Um, I don't know where we go from here, Dan. I don't know what to say. Oh, just take a second, okay? I, I so can't even look at you and you and you're sitting there smiling. You're smiling. I don't know where the fuck you get off or who the fuck sent this to you. Huey Craig the third. Or are you or, saying that's not your voice? Are you saying that's yeah, not your it's voice? my voice? And yeah, I said those things and I'm gonna say this. Would I be that way? I was just angry at the moment that I was talking to Tom. Oh, so it's okay that so you So Mary Jane's they, they, a cunt. It's Mary Jane's a, wor- a th- these are words that I'm saying because I'm Pissed. I'm pissed because of the way I was treated uh, mm. the last time we met. Okay, let me ask you a question. How are you going to make this up? Because I cannot... Make bo- what up? I can't even imagine what you must say about me? me. What? You're going to kill Am me. Am I going to kill you You just now? said you're going to kill no. me. No. I think that somebody here... I was you know, pissed. As much as I'm like going crazy over this, there's a little angel over there that you call... She's the, a very sweet woman. You call the cunt and a whore. I was mad at Did you try time. to hug her? What, in the elevator that did day? Did you try to hug I her? I asked her for a hug, and she said no. She wouldn't okay, give it to me. Okay, and you did... Mary Jane, did he try to hug you when he came over? Yes. Did you feel like you were being raped? It was so gross. Oh, God. No contact was made. No physical contact. I said that that wasn't professional, and he got a bit of a weird, nasty attitude, but it was distracted quick enough. Whoa. That's all. No Whoa. big deal. Am I no wrong? I, I should be upset at this, right? I um, I don't know what to think right now, because in all honesty, he's my best pal, and the fact of the matter that he would speak that way about two... I'm the, just... The dearest, the dearest thank couple... You. Thank you. ...to ever grace... Uh, uh, the, the town of Tinsel, okay? I, I, I'm so You're talking about what, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hollywood right here. And after all they've They're done not married you, yet. Scaremaster, after all they've done for you, and this the comes years well, of looking out for you, I look forward and trying to, to help you. This guy comes, he's... You know what that, you know who does that? You know who does that? Who does that? A mad dog. A mad dog. Maybe somebody put some bad stew in the Javaho. No, you know what? Maybe he got bit by a balacujo. <sighs> Wait a minute, you're going to tell me anything right now? You called Mary Jane a cunt? You called I didn't her a whore? call her a cunt. You called her a whore? <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. I think we have that right here. Let's, let's listen to that again. And it's so dumb that I... And I raped her in the fucking elevator. I asked for a fucking hug. The cunt. Sadistic and evil. Just like he is. She's just an evil as he is. Oh, hi. I'm going to be changed. Yeah, all right. I'm a whore. Okay, I might have been mad at the time. Okay, you might have been mad, but how dare you call Mary Jane a cunt and a whore? And you made fun and you made fun of how she talks. She has the most beautiful rhapsodic sing song bird voice. And you you mocking her. Whatever. So this this happened a long time ago. And how come you wouldn't kill me or call me a C word? Well, there's a lot more that I'd rather do. What am I gonna do? I can't even look at this piece of shit. You know what? I think we gotta End the show. End the show? End the show. You know, I think maybe that's what we should... Wait a minute. Hold something. everything. I heard something. Is that a call? 
Could you please send that through? Hello, hello, good morning, lovers. Oh, it's brother. a sunshiny day. Everyone's a smiling. Hey, Mr. Adams, how are you? Great from mood. Your, it's from great your mood. queen boyfriend. Yes, yes, yes. Indeed we do. I am. Indeed we do. I am. Oh, who the devil am I kidding? I'm a hot mess. <laughs> Perry, 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 can I ask you some P's and Q's, please? Perry, Perry, please. What do you want? Please, listen, listen, listen. Have you, by any chance, Perry, have you by any chance spoken to my Tommy lately? I miss him ever so. Have you spoken to him? Let me say something to you, you fucking queer. Yeah, I talk to Tom all the time, but he's not your Tommy, you little bitch. Let me tell you something else, you fucking cocksucking fag fuck. You're not in love with my publicist. You shut your fag ass mouth. Let me take a second to catch everyone up on what's going on here. Mr. Adams is in love with Perry's agent, Tom Brennan. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, I mean, I am in love. I am in love with him. I'm deeply in love with him, understand? Listen, listen, listen. The rape, the rape was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. We put that behind. Way in the behind, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Good one, Johnny. Mr. Adams, maybe a song would help take everything, make it all mellow for everybody. Well... Hmm, little early in the call for a song, but a wonderful idea, a wonderful idea. But listen, I have a feeling it, it may have the opposite effect. It may actually have the opposite effect. Are we ready? Are we ready? And remember, the dance floor is open for this slow jam. Oh, yes. Slap that bass. I feel so bad. I've got a dirty mind. Thinking of you, Tommy, all of the time. I need my fist in your behind while being blown by you. This bumpy pickle here is mine. I'll stick it where the sun don't shine. Thinking back to happier times being blown by you. I'll get you back someday. I'll come where I may when I'm blown by you. If there's DRPs to take and the duct tape don't break, I'm blown by you. Like my fishing yacht Where one dares was shot And lost way out at sea A look of surprise In your dope-filled eyes How happy I'd be Gonna see my Tommy again him and Perry are both real men. Men who were made just for other men again, blown by you. I can tickle your behind. Do whatever you will with mine. Like that casting agent and petty that time, I must be blamed by you. Shut up, you cocksucker. I'll get you back someday. It's not gay to be blown by you. Oh, God, you are disgusting. Have a date rape lollipop, and I'll get on top if I'm blown by you. You need handcuffs and on your fucking wrists. Like the feet are short, or long horn corn oil, all the things loved by Perry. Except nobody dies, like all those guys, how happy we'd be. And now look who's coming out. It's the Nicholas Brothers. They've got their short shorts. They've got their tank tops. And look, they're floating on little rafts, pushing themselves along with cane poles. Yes, the catfish are jumping. The paddle wheels are pumping. Hmm. Oh, that man of mine. 
I'll be deep inside his lubed up moon in the evening time. Oh, some sweet day, gonna take him away and my salami I'll hide. But till then I'll be blue, till my wet dreams come true, of being blown by Yes, yes. Thoughts. Never thoughts, happened. Thought. It was a very pretty song. I loved it. It's disgusting. So that was Linda Ronstadt. She used to date the governor. Thoughts now. Thoughts. I, I don't think Scaremaster liked it. I don't think he was very disgusting. much interested. Can I tell you all my thoughts? Can I tell you all my thoughts, please? please? Yes, please. I'd like to hear that. Yeah. You fellas are too uncool to understand young love. That's my thought. Like Mama, you just don't get it. You and I'll tell you something else. You probably all think grizzlies wear socks. I don't. I don't think that. No, you don't, Walter. Why is that? Because they have bare feet. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. They have bare feet. <laughs> Though I really, I, I have absolutely no idea what that has to do with me and Tommy. So with that, I'll say I'm out, dudes. Bye, Mr. Adams. It's a pretty so, song. You have to admit that song. It's a great pretty. song. It's a gay song. Tom is not gay. He's it a was freak. a Linda Ronstadt Tom song. Tom is not a freak. He's a freak. Tom is He's not a, fucking a freak. freak. You're the fucking freak. Am I? You're the one that made him fucking rape Tom. Oh, I did. Yeah. yeah I, I told him, hey, John Quincy Adams, why don't you rape Tom Brennan? Let me Probably ask you, did. Scaremaster, let me ask you a question, because you know about stuff. Can you really call it rape if one person drugs the other one, ties them up, and then puts things inside their B word? No. I don't think so. He drugged them? Yep. And after he drugged them, what do you think's going to happen? He put his P word in his B word. You're disgusting. And also some other words. I'm done. I'm done. I don't even now you talk. say you're done. What do you mean you're done? I'm done with his bullshit. You're not done with the bullshit. We're going to be here a very short period of time. You called Mary Jane names that are oh, just... Oh, so what? Oh, it was a I'm long mad. time big ago. Deal. Oh, big deal. And then like, I... you don't call me names? Like, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I called, oh, bullshit. I called Tom Brennan a freak because he is, and you fucking lose your mind on me. I'm still seated here. Tom Brennan's a freak. You know Don what? Don Barris is a freak. No, it's not true. Yeah, I, I, geek, I didn't get yeah, tied up and like geek. love that kind of shit. Tom Brennan. Why are your eyes all fucking ripping bloodshot like your devilish, freaky ways? <laughs> Scare you mess, you're just trying me. to charm your way out of the fact that you threatened Dan's life and called his beautiful Oh, so lady what? So what? I don't, so I'm not, I have no problem with it. I I'm just stating it. I should beat the fuck out of you. I really should. I wish you would. Yeah, well, because then you would go and get a lawyer and have me arrested. And then a lot yeah, well, more than that. Well, guess who's not getting out of the system on the 23rd of July? Oh, no. I am canceling the meeting. Go fuck yourself, you dirtbag. Oh, now you're going to cancel the meeting? Yeah. Oh, oh, well, forget it. Forget it, man. I just called your friend a cunt and a fucking whore. I said I was going to kill you with a baseball well, bat. A, Why a, does that matter? He's apologized a bunch he's of times since then. He's not apologized. Oh, he hasn't at all, right? He was laughing at me, pointing at me during the entire song. He was, he, he's That's acting funny. very Guess who's not getting out of the system on the 23rd? You, God. you dumb fuck. Oh, oh you know, it takes I'm responsibility. Sorry. Oh, Dude, now, you're sorry. So, now you're sorry. What a little bitch. Get on all fours. Right about... Hey, give him that date rape pop right there. Not with all that shit on it. What's it matter? You're going to be unconscious in seconds. Just shove it in your mouth. Yeah, like you're out after like 10 seconds. Little fucking freak. Fuck no. You and your fucking publicist, the freaks of the world. Scare Master, you know what? You know who you should get counsel from? Is you should talk to the uh, Javaho elders and bring that and bring that recording. Have have <sighs> you a Craig an send that recording idea. to them and they can hear it and then they can tell you what you can do to make it right. Just let them hear you talking about Mary Jane and Dan that way. How about I break your C2 again? You want to try that? Yeah. Maybe go for the C4, the C5, and the C6 and have those replaced again. How dare you fucking call Mary Jane a name You should ever. go for the seven Cs. No, that's a good one still. 
How dare you give me shit? I don't give you shit about anything. You come here every all week. Right, all right, all right, why don't you all right. Take, why don't you take come fucking on, you said blame. all right, Dad. Oh, I mean, did. forgive me. Fuck. I, I, I get, you got, you guys piss I mean, what, me off. What do, you want on, what do you want already? Come on. You guys just love the to guy, piss he, me off. He's done it. He's done it all. He's sneered at you. He's laughed. He's pointed at you. He's got you devil. I mean, come on. The guy? Give the guy, you know, give the guy a break. I mean, I've been, I've been, a, I've been in the fucking he's, system almost he's a not fucking at all. He's made, decade. He's made, he's made, I haven't been able to uh, work at on, all. Hold on. I didn't look at it that way, Mo. Maybe you're right. Made no, uh, no effort at all to be contrite at all and uh, uh, to... I mean, sincerely ask Mary for Jane. your forgiveness, but um, Mary Jane, come on, give the guy a break. Mary Jane, do you forgive me for <laughs> sure, calling you names? Why not? Why wouldn't she? I mean, it was two weeks ago. I, I come on, talk, I wasn't I, out. I, I was fourteen days ago. I didn't, in history. I was not out to be offensive you were, towards you. Were a different you. I was, person. I was upset at the time. I didn't know about it for the last fourteen days. It hasn't been on my mind. I didn't know a, anything a about, about it till this like second. A child. And this second, I'm in a better mood, and I'm not out to be be. I mean, I don't. You and I always argue. No, I fighting. don't argue. But you never call someone this close to me a whore and a cunt. I don't mean you it. threaten to kill me. But Mo makes a good point. How about doing? How about apologizing to Dan as Dexter Coleman? Uh, that would be better. Be start. It's a start. Goes. Dexter, God, God, I can't even think of the voice. Dexter Coleman was the. Black yeah, he was gentleman. my he was my old friend and well, I shouldn't say old friend. He can't even do he that. One of my, he he was, can't even do that. Say, 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 man, 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 Perry, man. I mean, like, listen, dude. Why are you calling him Perry? Yeah, I'm trying to call me Perry. Say, you're talking to yourself now. Or you're talking to Dan. I don't know what's going on here. I knew, I do know this. Don, I am so Dan. mad right I'm now. Sorry. I can't. Is that Perry or I'm sorry. I'm very, I'm very sorry. All Dexter. Right. Hey, man. How many uh, Tommy Bahama shirts do you owe me? Four still, right? I don't think Dexter owes you any. Two. Well, you and Tom Brennan owe me four. Four altogether, yes. Right. I think uh, a nice thing would be to offer to get me two more. No. I don't have that kind of money. That's a start. That's a good start. Dude, I don't have that kind of money. I mean, maybe I may make a suggestion. Absolutely. How about some Tommy Bahama pants to go with all those shirts? No, that's fuck! A, that's a great fuck? idea. Oh, my God. Well, who's the one that called my friend a cunt and a whore? Who's the one that threatened to kill me? It wasn't and who's me, the was one it? That, no, it was not you. And who's the one that wants to get out of this system? That I set up a date on July 23rd that I think I'm going to cancel, you piece of fucking shit. Where was shit. the date, Sizzler? No, it wasn't. It was Boca this, Chow? It was the, the system place. No one's supposed to know where that is. I don't even know where it is. I'm very sorry... To Mary Jane for for calling her what I called her. Oh, look at him now, begging, groveling, and well, dog yeah, shit. it'd be nice to beg and grovel when when I got this coming up. Yeah, and, and I mean, duh. What do you mean, burr? I didn't say burr. Name I said burr. duh, like duh. I I just I think don't I'm know. retarded. Yes. No, I, I don't you, think that you're retarded. I never said that. What I said is this. You're groveling now because you want something from me. I set it up for you. I do it. And then what do you do? I didn't even ask for all five shirts yet. I said I would never go there until you gave me the five shirts. You gave me one. I said, okay, he's making an effort. I'm going to set it up. I set up the fucking appointment. Then you call Mary Jane a cunt I didn't whore. call her. You, tr- you threatened to kill me. I didn't call her that You before. threatened to kill me. I didn't you threatened you to kill that's me. Right here. You, you threatened to kill me. You just, you were that. laughing at me the entire time. Then when I throw in the I, thing, okay, you were listen, laughing listen, and pointing listen, at me. Listen, you, you, listen, I am a fucking pussy that if you touch me, I'll have you in jail. You are a disgust. Despicable fucking human being. Listen, you know I may what? have said that Hold before. Hold on, Perry, Perry, stop. You know what time it is? It's time that we do the best thing that we do on this show. It's time once again for a little thing called Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play! Now, if you've never heard Mole Play before, Mole Play is a improv game that we play here on the big three podcast this is where mole will kind of create a scene and the way he does this he will cast the scene he will direct the scene he will then write a scene what we don't know we know the credits of what who's doing what we don't know what the scene is about mole what are we going to do on today's mole play well we've talked about it we've uh we've 
argued about it. But we still may never know what happened in that elevator between uh, Mary Jane and Scaremaster. Hey, I know. I saw the whole fucking thing. Okay, oh, Wolfie, hey, hold Wolfie, on. Wolfie, what's gonna, up? Gonna, no, you piece of fucking vermin shit. You're a scumbag. Suspend your disbelief for a second, Wolfie. Yeah. You have a fucking religion that's for jokes. You oh, yeah. Hold on, Wolfie, books. Wolfie, Wolfie. I'll, get, you. I'll try to get you apart. I'll try to get you apart. Okay. okay. All right. Scaremaster. I'm not going to let you play Scaremaster this one. I would like, because you actually did her voice pretty well. I'd like you to play Mary Jane. Um, Dan, I'd like you to play Scaremaster. And Wolfie, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you in later. You're going to play Dan. All right, I mean, thanks. You're, you're a little bit better. Work on that Dan voice a little bit. All right, how's this? That's really good, Wolfie. Wow. Mopey! Hey, would you leave me alone? I haven't even started anything. Perry, get your, get your hands off me! Why don't you come over here? Why don't you come over here and let me hug you? You fucking whore! You cunt! I want to rape you! Hey, I didn't... Scaremaster get, grabs her. Get come here, you fucking slut! You tried... fucking... Get away from me! He grabs her get, boobies. He grabs her boobies. Get, 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 He pinches her cheek. He pinches her cheek. I'm going to tilt him. I'm going to tilt him, you son of a bitch. You won't do anything, you motherfucker. I'm going to rape you. I'll kill Dan with a baseball bat. Dan, ah! Dan, Dan suddenly enters the elevator. Hey, everybody. <laughs> what are you doing, Perry? What's I'm going? laughing he sees what's because happened. this is getting funny. Hey, you're, you're Mary Jane. Rape Mary you're Jane. You're Mary, hey. you're Mary Jane. Why, Scare you piece of Jane. shit. No, I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> beat your ass. Let me alone! Let me go! I am taking you out of the system. You will end the rest of your life in the system. Let me go! I want out of the system! You are Mary Jane! You can't! And then Dan kisses Mary Jane. Give me a kiss. Let me kiss. Oh, and they start getting really randy in the elevator. The Aerosmith song starts playing. Love it in the elevator. That's Mole Play. All right. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play. I don't really know what happened. High five. High five for what? For what? Exactly. Is that Being like, good. Is that like Friends? No, you're not a friend to me. High five. <sighs> Scare master. Remember when I tried to shake your hand, you want to break my thumb? I just said that. I oh, you didn't really. I wasn't going to be mean or do anything. I mean, you've you never grabbed my thumb in bed. No. I've never done anything bad. Really? To you I think ever. we have those clips. <laughs> we could play them. You've been nothing but a terrible human being. This is part, what I'm about to announce is something that really upsets me because this is going to make you money. Because if you don't know about it, the... Simply Don, the podcast network store is about to open. That's at www.simplydonthepodcastnetworkstore.com. Go there. There's going to be buttons. There's T-shirts. There's pants. There's just about everything. Posters, stickers. You have a chance to make a lot of money. Well, well thank you. It's about right. time. Well, it's about time. And that's all you say. You call people names. You're just uh, a you know you know what this U A Craig the third guy. Oh, yeah, no. he's, he's the out, real jerk. He's out, exactly. You're the scare You're I, the look, victim. I here. am not. I may be the you victim. Are the victim. I might have are said the something victim? privately. This is like a, one of those. This is like a Sterling type job. Right. It is exactly that. Right. He did something privately with the girl privately. And why should, you well, don't need. You should make you two don't billion dollars announce, off this. You don't need to announce to the whole fucking planet that he called people the N word. Hey, Dan, where can people reach you on the social network? I just want to ask one question about that before we get into that. And you know what, Don? I have nothing against you. <laughs> Things good are starting to happen I think we between have that all clip. of us. Things good are starting to happen between all of us. Thanks, you, A. Craig Third, for fucking it all up, you flaming cocksucker. Okay, now, he was asking for thanks for helping you get your social media back. I don't think that's what he wanted to hear. Was that what you were thanking him for right there? No, I was thanking him for fucking sm- mentioning that that I call them MJ- that I call Mary Jane the uh, the W word and in other words. What other words? I don't know. 
CS and CS. Like What's CS? Cocksucker and a fucking. Uh, you didn't call her. You think she's a cocksucker? I, know, I don't know. I don't know what I said, but I know I was I happen, pissed. I happen to know for a fact she's not a cocksucker. So you apologize. Yeah, to- Perry. I'm not like you. Oh, I didn't suck Ooh. dick. Ooh. <laughs> she could have gotten ahead in show business a lot easier than you could have, and Ooh. yet you're the one that did it. She uh, did what? Let some guy blow me. Stop bragging for two seconds, Scaremaster. It's We're disgusting. I wasn't even it's talking disgusting. about that. I wasn't even talking about it's that. And there you are, bringing it, it up again. Always got to bring it up. What's your deal, man? Every time that you get a chance, you have to talk about that bullshit. Well, and, and there you are, burping again. Well, I will say this. This might be the worst show ever because I am so mad. I want to punch you right in the face. I swear to God I do. And I do know this. Don't be too sure we're going to have a date on July 23rd to get you out of the system because I don't know how I can, with an open mind, go to those people and say, hey, this is a good guy. He deserves to be out of the system. Mary Jane, you had something to say? Since this is technically a a production, um, doesn't the system have to hear about what Perry said um, today? Interesting. So this will be brought up at your system meeting. (sighs) Less than a month before you have the meeting. Look, I'm not... Look, again, it's a private phone call with a private individual, and I was just angry at the time. It wasn't anything that needs to be brought publicly, and I got this fucking guy bugging my phone and bugging Tom Brennan's phone. He has all phones. All phones are bugged now, dude. Yeah. It's disgusting. That's so, it's, it's, it's so the, the state blame, of the state, man. So the blame should be put on him? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's right. It's what it should be done. So you're innocent in this. I'm guilty. For you're innocent saying, when you dream. I'm. I'm. Look, I'm guilty for saying what I said about about uh, Mary Jane and for what I said about you. Okay, Don. You said you were going to kill me with a baseball bat and a knife. If you well, guys, why was the baseball if you bat guys, even there? If you guys, oh, Jesus Christ! If you guys kept fucking. Oh, Us excuse guys. me. We're not guys who are into that stuff. Yeah. Look, yeah, if Tom Brennan I'm being might be. raped, what, what, what do you expect me to do? I don't know. Not who fight was, back? Who was raping you? You made the comment two weeks ago about making Tom lick my ass, which was the most disgusting thing ever. I think maybe it was a metaphor. No, he wanted. He said. Something no, about that's not true at all. Tom I look- said that. I said a metaphor, exactly what Mole said. Thank you, Mole. You're welcome. <clears throat> I'm just, I don't even know what to think anymore. Just don't, don't be so sure. Look. No, no, you look. Don't be so sure July 23rd is going to happen now. But people should still continue to make their plans to come out for. Uh, oh, yeah. For uh, for August even if 15. it's just Dan and I. Even if it's just Dan and I taking your mud for shark fishing. Every, we're gonna have oh, a that time. would be great. We're going to do something. We're going to do something that weekend. Uh, there's going to be plans for every day that you guys Whether are Whether or not Scare Master is part of that grand yeah. scheme, I guess that's uh, yet to be seen, but. Well, I I think today was one of the roughest shows ever because I look over at Mary Jane. First of all, Mole, I know that you don't talk about women a lot, but isn't she beautiful? She's a gorgeous lady. She's a very pretty woman. Now, shut you the should fuck take her up. to Las Vegas. I don't know if I can yet. I'll go with somebody for sure. Mary Jane? Uh-huh. Have you ever been to Las Vegas? I don't know. All right. Maybe. You guys are going to be the king and queen of that town. I'm telling you. You guys are going to rule that town. Can I tell you something, Mary Jane? Okay. I don't want to have you answer now. But have you ever heard of the Trump Hotel? It's a five-star hotel. I have reservations for a room that's already paid for. I'm going to ask you this right now, and you don't have to say yes or no. If I can't find anybody else, would you like to go to Las Vegas with me? Whoa. That would be super fun and exciting. Now, don't you guys your... got to try um you got to try um heroin. <laughs> heroin. Right. I'm just saying it keeps you keep you going. Or no, or cocaine. Get heroin, cocaine, meth, what? and and um oxy and mix them up and have the bartender blend them into one of those tall tall Oh my god. Cups. Yeah, I saw that in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Oh, that looks fun. Blast. Get peyote and mushrooms and quaaludes. Okay, oh, all right, God. what's going and, on here? And, is, uh, and a machete. Okay, purple dress. Mary Jane, you're not for sure going. There's other people that I've got to ask first. Oh, but 
but that was such a good movie. That'd be so awesome to do for three days. Okay, well, we got to close out today's show, and I've never been more disappointed. Mole, as usual, you are a class act. Oh, and- thank you, Dan. Right I- back at you. How can people get in touch with you? Ah, oh, you can always network? reach me on Facebook, Walter Malinsky on Facebook. I love hearing from people. Uh, the way to reach me is through Scary Perry, Perry Skateboards. Perry, stop right com. now. Stop right now. I don't think you're allowed to say anything today. After what you said earlier to Tom, I don't know if I can allow you to say anything to post your bullshit products. If you want to get in touch with me on Twitter, I'm at Simply Don One. Facebook, I'm at Don Barris. Instagram, Simply Don One. Vine, I'm at Don Barris. Every week, check out my Simply Don the podcast. You got to catch that. Everybody loves it. Also, everybody also loves to see me every night at the world famous comedy store. I close it out every night, so come in there. And on Mondays, the Ding Dong Show, 10 o'clock, coming soon. The Ding Dong Show podcast is coming to Simply Down the Podcast Network. Other people weren't keeping up like they should have. But for right now, everybody, put her there. Big three. Goodbye.